ah, it's been it's been a horrible experience. You know, we've we've run this business for 15 years. It's a seven day a week operation, so it was as big a part of our lives as you can imagine. Um, and so to to have to stand by and watch it lie empty and not have the sound of kids running around and having fun uh, has been, you know, it's been very difficult. We have kept everybody on the books because as a business that's been going for 15 years with some of our staff that have been with us that long, you know, we feel that they're part of our family. Uh, we feel a huge loyalty to those staff. Um, and so we've, we've done everything that we can do to keep them as part of the business. But when the announcement was made that the, uh, the, the amount that the government would pay out was reducing, and that's, this was done a couple of months ago, uh, so we were thinking that at that point, um, the business would be allowed to open again and we'd be able to have staff working and earning and so it wouldn't be that much of a problem. But obviously the date for us to be allowed to reopen just ke keeps moving out and moving out and moving out and we still don't know exactly when it's going to be. I think both Scottish Government and, and Westminster both need to, to recognise that although some businesses are being able to, to start again. There's a lot of businesses like, like mine that are still not allowed to operate uh, and there needs to be uh, some level of support that, that recognises that.